our dear viewers and welcome to a new edition of our program Africa Today. In uh, today's edition of our program, uh, we are going to start with the issue of migrants, where more than 900 migrants have drowned off Tunisia's coast so far this year. As I try to reach the European uh, coast by boat, the North African country's government said on Thursday, while in a warning of further tragedy, the United Nations said that it was deeply concerned for the safety of hundreds of migrants stranded in Tunisia, following the removal to remote parts of the country. More details with Samah al-Sharif. The Tunisian Interior Ministry said 901 bodies had been recovered by July 20 following maritime accidents in the Mediterranean Sea. Tunisia has become a major gateway for irregular migrants and asylum seekers attempting the perilous sea voyages in often rickety boats in the hopes of a better life in Europe. The distance between Tunisia's second city of Sfax and Italy's Lampedusa Island is only about 130 kilometers. National Guard spokesman Hassam Eddin Jababli earlier reported that almost 800 Marians had died by late June and that more than 34,000 had been intercepted and rescued, most of them from sub-Saharan Africa. Coast Guard units had carried out over 1,300 operations, more than double the number of missions for the same period last year. The Interior Ministry said over 550 organizers and intermediaries of human trafficking operations had been arrested so far this year. The Italian government says that more than 80,000 people have crossed the Mediterranean to arrive on its shores so far this year, mostly from Tunisia and war-scarred Libya. The central Mediterranean has become the world's deadliest migratory route, claiming more than 20,000 lives since 2014, according to the UN's International Organization for Migration, IOM. Welcome back. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli said that the past year witnessed a great leap in the national efforts with regards to curbing human trafficking on all levels, locally, internationally and regionally. This came during a speech marking a Human Trafficking Fighting Day 2023. Madbouli said that with growing crises, the human trafficking gangs found suitable environment to drag new victims and use modern techniques to exploit such victims. To shed more light on the issue, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Naila Gabr, the chairperson of the National Coordination Committee for Combating Illegal Immigration and Trafficking in Persons. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Ambassador Gabr. Good afternoon. Uh, how do you weigh the importance of dealing with the human trafficking issue as a phenomena that needs swift and serious measures to curb it? Well, dealing with this crime, it is a crime, and mm -hmm. it's a transnational organized crime. Uh, so it is important, uh, like uh, many countries in the world, uh, to face the challenges uh, of combating such uh, a crime and the existence of uh, gangs and uh, people working mm -hmm. on exploiting the most needy uh, persons. Uh, and Egypt has started early uh, in uh, that regard. We started in 2007, and we established a national committee, and then we issued the law, and then we prepared strategies as well uh, as a national uh, strategy, mm -hmm. and now we are on our third national uh, strategy. So mm -hmm. it is important to, to be serious and to work on that, Yes. And to have also not just uh, legislation, but to work on the implementation of such legislation. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, to have an institution like our National Coordinating Committee, the Interministerial Committee, working on a coordination between all partners and all stakeholders working mm -hmm. uh, in the issue. Uh, Ambassador Gabr, how do you list the reasons for the trafficking in humans? Well, the reasons are the, the needs, the, the financial uh, needs. Uh, people are suffering from poverty, uh, so they can be ex easily exploited. Uh, those people are people uh, facing uh, 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 difficulties, conflict, internal conflict, natural disasters, man-made disasters like wars, 
and also economic uh, problems and, uh, and financial problems countries are facing such problems and uh, this is uh, leaving people in uh, a, a situation of uh, vulnerability mm -hmm. uh, we can add to this also the illegal migrants because yes. the situation also is a bad situation and they are can be exposed to mm. all forms of exploitation yes ambassador what are actually the manifestations of the human trafficking in the african continent well, the, the manifestation uh, is uh, having people uh, yes. suffering from uh, such crime. Uh, and, uh, of course, we are trying to help and to present our know-how from the legislative point of view, institutional point of view, and the practical uh, point of view to help our uh, uh, co uh, colleagues, uh, sisters, and brothers from the African countries uh, mm. to face such uh, scourge. Uh, but of course, uh, taking into consideration the situation in mm. some of the countries in the continent, the the crime is existing at uh, all because of natural disaster, yeah. because of man-made disasters of war and economic crisis. Of course, how do you see the reasons here for the human trafficking in Africa, in particular? Well, it's not particular uh, just in the African continent. It's yes. existing all over the world. Of, of course, course it's, it's a natural and it's normal that after the Ukrainian uh, war, yeah. you'll find plenty of situation uh, of, uh, of exploitation and of trafficking. Mm. We have faced this after the dismantle of the uh, former Soviet Union also. Uh, mm. And in many situations all over the world, the situation, the uh, crisis, and the exploitation is existing. And the exploitation can exist even mm. in uh, some rich countries because the form uh, can be different, but it's existing. Of course. Uh, Ambassador Gabra, actually in his speech marking uh, the um, Human Trafficking Fighting Day 2023, Prime Minister uh, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli said that the past year witnessed a great leap in the national efforts with regards to curbing human trafficking on all levels, locally, regionally and internationally. Uh, what are the measures, do you think, uh, behind curbing the phenomenon of uh, human trafficking so far? Well, uh, let me also highlight that for the fourth year the Prime Minister is participating in celebrating this uh, International Day for combating uh, human trafficking uh, and uh, uh, if I can understand because the sound is not very good mm -hmm. but uh, what we, we the question can you repeat the question Yes. Uh, how we are curbing uh, the phenomenon of uh, human trafficking so far as we have reached a leap uh, uh, in the national effort with regard to curbing human trafficking as uh, said uh, by Prime Minister uh, Madbouli okay. in his speech. Okay. We, we were working on, on uh, the issue on the national level and yeah. on the uh, regional and international level. Mm. On the national level, as I told you, we have our studies and we have the strategy. Yeah. And we were, are working on the four P's, uh, protection, prevention, uh, partnership, prosecution. Mm -hmm. on, the national, uh, on the regional level, we are working with our partners and uh, different countries in the League of Arab States and in the African Union. On the international level, we are working with the UN. Yes. And the uh, UN ODC and other partners like IOM and other uh, mm. agencies working, uh, UNICEF, ILO, to combat uh, mm. the, the crime and to face uh, its challenges. Of course. Uh, Ambassador uh, Gabr, with the growing uh, crises in the world, what are your expectations for the phenomenon of uh, the human traffickings? Well, uh, unfortunately, I'm expecting the phenomena to, to, to raise and to increase because if, if you look at all the crises around us in our region and uh, in different regions in, in the continent, 
the the issues uh, situation is not improving on the country yeah. things are are, uh, are evolving in a very bad uh, way so uh, i don't expect uh, things to improve mm. so if things are not improving on the political level and economic level so yes. the uh, the the phenomena and the crime is going to increase unfortunately and this is our responsibility as government yes. to try to protect our people and our citizens indeed what uh, legal measures were most effective so far to curb the human trafficking uh, in your opinion ambassador gabr the, the legal is to have a law and we have one of the best laws Mm. Uh, uh, the law 64 of uh, 2010 mm. but also having a law is not sufficient the most important thing is the full implementation of the law and we are working on on that we are working yeah. on training people working in the field of administration of justice i.e uh, the police uh, people working in the police in the ministry of interior the judges the prosecutors so mm. we are working on that, and the question of combating impunity is extremely important. And at Indeed. the same time, we need also to have a way of cooperation among our sister mm. neighboring countries, and this we are doing it uh, through the, uh, uh, the regional cooperation. Yes. Uh, Ambassador Gabra, the DRC um, is reportedly... Uh, with the highest uh, absolute number of human trafficking victims. How do you explain that uh, from your point of view? Uh, can you repeat the question? The DRC, the, D uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, is reportedly with the highest absolute ah, okay, okay. number of human trafficking. Why is that from your point of view? Because, because they have suffered from a, a, a political uh, problem for years and years. The situation in the Great Lakes uh, in, in Africa was uh, very uh, bad. Uh, mm. And for, for, for that reason, the impact of such situation is impacting on, on the, mm. the citizens. So for that reason, yeah. I'm expecting that uh, this is one of the main reasons for mm. having uh, the, the country having an important number of uh, people uh, victims yeah. of human trafficking. Yes, indeed. Ambassador Naela Gabra, the chairperson of the National Coordination Committee for Combating Illegal Immigration and Trafficking in Person, thank you so much for your precious uh, input, Ambassador uh, Gabr. And moving on with uh, our uh, program where the leaders of the military coup in Niger said on Sunday that the regional body of ECWAS uh, could stage an imminent military intervention in the capital of the Sahel country. Speaking ahead of the ECWAS uh, crisis summit on Niger on Sunday, the junta said that the aim of this meeting is to